Hi, today, restoration time on my Ford F250, 1959, 7.5 litre petrol. Now, the carpet that was in there wasn't original, someone just bought some from a crappy carpet shop. It wasn't even quality carpet either. And also they just decided the worst thing in the world is cut around the seat. If you're going to do a job, get the seat out. I'm redoing my seat anyway, but get the seat out, then you've got the floor plan to look at. Then cut it properly. You've obviously got the stick there for changing the gear, and obviously the pedals, etc. And this has got a heater module. And I've also unfortunately found a little bit of thinning where the floor pan is going to go. So I'm going to seal that first. But let's have a look at the floor and the carpet they had in here. You can see, it's just my kneeing that. They uh, cut around that rather than just lifting it up. You can't take it out. I mean, I'm guessing it's because of the gear mechanism, I don't want to mess around. So I actually am going to slot the carpet over that. Um, over in that corner there, it's a bit thin, so we're going to do that. But we're going to get properly all around here. I think there might have been a, someone can tell me actually. Is that electric or was that fuel shut off or something in that corner there? Uh, I'm not quite sure to be honest with you. Let me have a look. I oh, know I've got zoom here somewhere. Look at that. I don't know what it is. And I said in that corner there, I've got a little bit of rust. So I'm going to sort that out as well. And also, what I found was a gaping hole, you know, drain. So we're going to put a plug back in that. Um, we're going to sort that. But here is airflow. That thing there. And I mean, it's, it's not clever, is it? I just, um, yeah. That. I might take it out, I might just bung it up, and there's another one over there. We're going to bung them up, because end of the day, it was freezing bloody cold the other day when I drove home. And I mean really cold. So I don't want that. Um, I think I might paint that, you know. I'll make a nice job of painting that. Uh, I'm so impressed with that top bit. Anyway, let's get on with this. Oh, it does have some seat belts though. Well, that belt for the passenger side. Uh, that one is just ridiculous, it doesn't do anything. I might actually have a look at getting it up off the floor because it's it's not like I put a belt at all. Doesn't need a belt on this one, 1959, doesn't need it. And this blue rubbish is what it had in there. See, cut around the seats rather than actually just doing it. And that's about three inches short of actually where the actual back was. I am going to do that. I'm going to cut, I'm going to slit a hole though, not cut a massive hole. Looks like it's one for the pedal, we can get that sorted there when we need to. And this little one over here, it's not the water, it hasn't got any water. It is for the uh, high beam and low beam. Yeah, it's a little bit odd, I know. But it's a pattern I'm not going to go by. I just want that middle bit there. Oh, so what have I been doing? Well, there's the heater matrix out. It was just an air vent thing. Rubbish, really. Carpet is ready to get uh, cut. In here... We have closed up that vent. Got to do a better job than that, it cracked. It's too cold, so I need to get a plate on there. And there's the little vents. Now these, but there's one there, you can pull them open and close them. Um, which now works if you watch. If I do that, I think you'd be able to see it opening and closing. Or not, there you go. There you go, open and closes. Well, that needs a bit more freeing up. Anyway, look at that. <laughs> that's what was in there. I think that's like living in there as well. 60 years of crap, that's why it wouldn't shut. And that's what was blowing on my cold legs. We're not doing that again. So I need to clear all that out. And I'm going to do this all before I put the carpet in. And I've got these holes to fill in. Yep. Yeah. So I'll get on with them. Let me get on with this. One important thing is always make sure you've got a sharp, sharp blade. Otherwise it will just muck it up. So, so far you wouldn't believe what I got out of um, the air vents, but the airflow, whatever you like to call it, I mean it wasn't a fan, a hot air system. That's out and I think it looks a lot better and I'll show you in a second. So I've just laid new flooring in because I've got to cut it and then I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to glue it down. I've been blocking holes up basically because it's freezing cold and you can't have loads of holes in here. So I've not just used tape. <laughs> I've actually put bolts through them and clips through them, etc. Um, and I've made quite a nice job of it if I'm saying so myself. So, let's have a look. See the difference now? That was just a nice large foot area now, I think. Um, I've slipped that 
nicely and I've cleaned that up and I've cleaned that up as well and that will go back on top. The finding the screw holes will be a real bitch, I know. Got to work out how to do that nicely. Um, it's back here where it wasn't before. Um, under here, see, put bolts in. Uh, I'm going to put the seat belt through. So I'm going to have one lap belt because when the missus sat here the other day, obviously she's sitting here as it were and she's got a long way to go. I've got the steering wheel in front of me but she's got nothing. So she's a little bit worried. And I'll tell you what's crazy. That opens the door. I mean, Vauxhall Vivas had them. Do you know how I know? Because I fell out of the frigging car and so did many, many people. And we went back to the days of the 70s where seatbelts weren't necessary. And you just leaned on it, woof, out you went. <laughs> Mental. And the stereo is there. I've brought an old fashioned one that will go there and look really cool. This side now, oh, look at this. Watch this. I've sprayed it all up. Are you ready? You can see it there. Let me just get that vent there. Look at that. Hey, that one uh, doesn't work as well. It takes time, a bit of freeing up and everything else. Oh, I'm starting to like this now. I'm starting to like it. Look at that wire. This goes on. Um, if it goes on top of it, it's not the best. As in colour, I know, um, but just bear with me when it goes down and actually shapes everywhere and I've glued it down and then the lovely seats on there properly. Um, yeah, bear with me and see what it looks like then. Well, I think it's going to look nice. I'm going to get some nice wind visors, sun wind visors. I'm going to get some nice sun visors up there, nice mirror to go in there. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I tell you what I'm thinking about. The old 50s little searchlight on the side. I think never mind of them. <laughs> I don't know. Don't want to ruin it. I want to make it look still plush and nice and everything else. But it's had little modern bits on it already, so if I'm well happy with that vent, that'll go back together. Just got to work at the steering wheel bits, cut this to shape, glue it all down. Let's have a look then. Okay. Filling a little bit of hybrid spray. I've left the front under the control bit here loose because I want to fit the radio not there. I'm going to actually cut one in I've got a nice vintage classic look one that's still got Bluetooth and connectivity um, I hate these speakers I'm just I'm gonna to have to just get smarter ones and make them look a lot better than they do so we did the headliner and I carried on down the back here wife came out I'm just doing it under the window and around it. Can you see the black trim now around the top bit here? That looks nice, doesn't it? Just tease it off. Sharp edges, you know, you've got to get rid of them. Carpet-wise. So, I'm getting trim that goes over here. It's glued down, but I've got to glue the rest of it down. Around the pedals look all right. It took ages doing around that column there. Cause that's unusual, I've been told so far. It should be on the stick. Um, definitely different gearbox in here. Anyway, I'm going to paint that as well. I'm just about to do this bit of trim here. I know that's from the other video, but you just, you know, you just carry on with things, don't you? After that, that's all I can do. Oh, yeah, put the nice new mirror up. That looks nice, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to get some visors there. Again, that black trim looks really nice now. But the carpet all in, I'm happy with it. Uh, it matches the colour. Remember when the seat goes in, it won't look so much there. But so much more room there about that great big unit there. So, catch up with my next one, please. And that is going to be under the bonnet. We're hammering along, but sensibly. I've got the seat to do, underneath to do, loads of things to do. So, under the bonnet, next. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.